nine different questions and their expert answer that are usually being asked by the Shivning Scholarship Committee while during the interview. So if you have been called by the Shivning Scholarship Committee, this is the video that you have to definitely watch and you have to prepare your answers accordingly to secure this scholarship for your own self. So keep watching this video and do subscribe the channel because I am going to post uh, many relevant videos that will help you eventually secure one of the scholarship for your own self. So let's jump to the questions now. Now the questions are not in a particular order, I am just telling you all the questions and their answers so you have to so don't think like it's just or based on the importance okay all the questions are important so the first usually being asked by what's your motivation uh, for going through the streaming scholarship when there are many other scholarships as well you will know that there are plenty of other scholarships that is being offered in the uk for example commonwealth shared commonwealth masters and stuff like that so why shivning now you have to do your own research and you have to see why shivning is different from the others and why you are interested in shivning at the first place so you might know that in other um, you know in the other scholarship you are actually either nominated by your higher education um, committee or of your own home country or there are some universities predefined and you have to select a course in those, those universities and stuff like that and some some programs are not really privileged and they are not fully funded and things like that so you have to do your research and then you have to compare it with the shivning because in shivning you actually secure scholarship and then apply for your program and stuff like that so you have to mention them like why is it beneficial for you to go through a shaming as compared to others maybe your program that is interest you are interested in is not being offered by the other scholarship maybe those are not very you know beneficial and stuff like that uh, the, the 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 scholars of those scholarship are not being very empowered by the end where achieving scholars are valued more and stuff like that so you need to do your research based on that the other question that arises from this is why uk at the first place so you have to give a similar answer but that answer should be on the broader level at the country level why uk because obviously it's a developed country the uh, the in institutions are great the faculty in the institutions are great uh, maybe you are the research you are interested in and the universities you are applying in obviously are similar and um, you know these things you will actually learn from a developed country and being from a like you know under privileged country and stuff like that under developed country so the overall experience will help you will groom you and professionally as well as personally right and it's also a cultural exchange so you will learn a lot from the uk culture and stuff like that so the third question that are usually being asked by what are your leadership skills you know um so in this case you might have a lot of leadership skills but you do not say okay i am very good in communication i have uh, i achieve targets and stuff like that i can lead a team i can work in a team and you know stuff like that don't tell them just things like this tell them the examples tell them how you actually uh, proved your leadership skills rather than just telling them the the skills you have you know so for example you can say okay i i was working in in a, some organization and i uh, i had I, I had to take a lead because uh, I had some the, the boss actually assigned me some targets and this is how what we did this is how I managed the team this is how I laid out the plan so you actually tell them that what you did to achieve those targets by giving an example rather than just saying simple words okay so beg this question by example then another question that are usually being asked by so what are the like major decision that you might have taken in your life and how you actually manage the black backlash because of this question again back this question with an example maybe you actually so for example you maybe you actually did your bachelor's and uh, in a major in which your family wasn't willing you know you to do that for example you were interested in let's say cs and your family was interested in mathematics but you 
went against the uh, your family and pursued cs so tell them example like this you know and then how you manage manage the stuff how you proved yourself right and the family wrong maybe you actually aced in your field and uh, did much well as compared to what you have done in mathematics you know this is just an example uh, you can also say when it comes to managerial tasks, you took some decision, maybe, you know, that wasn't really liked by your boss, but you actually proved yourself and you achieved the best of the targets. So answer these questions based on these examples, just not by words. Okay. So the fifth question that are usually being asked by what uh, you know what are your short-term goals and mid-term goals and long-term goals now they actually want to know that whether you have planned your whole you know uh, career like you are, have thought about your career career or you are not going with the flow you know okay so this scholarship has opened so let's just apply it it's just because you don't have you you have don't have anything to do so they just want to know that it was a pre-planned thing you were thinking that this scholarship will be uh you know way out to your dreams to your goals you know so that's why they are asking this question so answer accordingly and tell them okay i want to do this by this age i want to be at this position at this page my my two years goal is this my five years goal is this and my long-term goal is let's say if i am economist i want to become a finance minister of pakistan or something like that you know um okay so finance yeah so you, your goals can be that obviously you can work on that and in one day you can definitely achieve them so things like that so you have to mention these sort of things and then one of the question is like which universities you have you have applied to and you are interested in to pursue now back this question with with you know proof like why so for example you have to tell them if i am interested in economics i have applied to lse and i am interested to go there why lse because it's the best the pro the research i am interested in let's say my research i want to do research on inequalities and the professor there is really good and he has done some work and um, the, the thing good thing will be if you already if you are already in touch with a professor and they actually you know approve you and you ask for for uh, their you know supervision do you, if you achieve the scholarship and go there so if you have that too if you can tell them i have uh, you know the professor is willing and we have laid out all the discussions and i just need to go there so that's actually a very positive way and they uh, this actually portrays to the committee that you are really serious and people actually do this as well like reach out to the professors beforehand even they just uh, secure the scholarship so this is another question then obviously in in shivning you actually have one of the question is about like networking you know obviously shivning is um uh, multi diverse thing sort of uh, culture stuff because people come from every corner of the world so they actually want to know whether you will be able to adjust with them or not so they actually want to see whether uh, you whether you you what views you do have about different nations and whether you will be able to have a good time with them or not so tell them give them example that you have worked in a very diverse culture beforehand let's say uh, you were in a project where there were three different nationalities you know you were working with or you have some conference you attended or you have some research that you have done or something like that or if you haven't done anything with the different uh, countries you can mention them with the different ethnic groups inside your own country you have worked with and how good the experience went and how much you learned from them you know things like that so the eight question that you're usually being asked by what will be the benefit from you when you go there you know to the to the community so you tell them by giving example like you are you have been always a source which actually give information spread information spread love uh, spread positive image about everything spread positivity and these things how this will affect the 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 environment when you go there so uh, be, uh, the, the students as well as the community so give them example like you will do some community work because you're already doing community work here and you want to um see that side or, or, uh, or there as well you want to join some let's say in the university you know that there is some you know community uh, organization you want to join them and you want to teach some students and stuff like that you know so that actually shows you have done research and it's a two-way thing you are receiving something and from you the community is also receiving something at the end so yeah this is all about the questions that are being asked and uh, the, uh, the things i have explained so uh, prepare well 
uh, and some other tips that I want to really share with you so the 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 interview can be very long as well like more than 30 minutes depending upon how things are going um, and you know when you go there when you enter in the link be calm you know obviously it it's useless to say that we are good shirts and stuff like that because you will be already taking care of that so the thing is what i want to say is be calm even if you do not know the answer take time you know if you if you, they ask you some question and you are uh, you you are unclear you can ask them for time as well or you can just take you know some seconds and think about it think before you speak may you know and and make a sequence in your mind that what you are going to you going to say so for example if they ask me about the uh, short term long term and mid term goals so i will ask them obviously it's a interview right and it's something they have asked me right now obviously you might have prepared beforehand but they don't to know right so you can take some time you can in mind you can say okay two it's short term two years plan mid term five years plan long term 10 years plan 20 years plan in two years when i will just complete my you know this master and i will come back to my country i will let's say join the finance division of pakistan as some of assistance in five years i will just do start um, you know working or i will get promoted to let's say manager managerial role as well as i will start something of my own self that will help the community in long term what i am going to do now i have this in mind i will tell them without any hesitation and you know they will know that he is not making up something he has already this thing sorted out in his mind so take your time and think before you speak and when you start speaking uh, you know you know get yourself comfortable with the camera screen so that you are not reluctant to speak anything and you know if you want to if you are saying my long term plan is to become like finance division uh, finance minister of your country that's all right if you are economist right so don't make your plans that are irrelevant to your major so have your plans that are relevant to your major and then uh, when you actually you know when are you when everything is done they ask you what are your questions you know if you have any questions or not i must say ask a question or two the question can be about the interview when the decision will come out or the question will be about any process or any confusion you have what this tells them that you have done your research and you're really really concerned about things you know it's not just with a go with flow it will affect your life so do ask a question or two but not more than that and you know uh, yeah so so do ask your question and you know put them in a right way so they know that this is a question so sometimes we ask a question in not in a question way we ask them a question in an answer way so this is very important as well so this is all that i had to share if you have liked the video do uh, like uh, you know uh, the video and subscribe the channel because i am going to post many relevant video videos for you and help you secure one of the scholarship for your own self as well so till then take care have a good day bye